after many test fittings, debates, and trying to decide the best place to install the new Xantrex ProWatt Pure Sine Wave 600 watt inverter so that I can safely power my printer, computer, and other electronic appliances, I have put about four foot leads onto the back of the inverter. Let me pull the inverter out. And the way we're going to use this is, see, this is the old inverter that it is replacing. This is just a little 400 watt mystery inverter. Uh, you really don't know what kind of clean or unclean power you're getting from that thing. It's worked okay for a couple of years, but um, now that I'm going to be using the truck camper a little more for a home office or a work camp office, I needed something better. And this is it. $200 from Discount Solar. Alright, so it connects to the back of the inverter. I have two six gauge wires going to it. And then there is the ground. And I'm going to drill holes through the back of the battery compartment. You can see two wires already going through there. Those are the power wires from the solar controller. <clears throat> so let me uh, go ahead and drill these next two holes. And you got Home the hole out a little bit because the jacket of the wire is just a little larger. <laughs> Go about an inch apart. So you home the hole out by moving the drill like that. Okay. So now you can shove the wire through the hole. And it'll be a snug fit, which is good because you want to have the battery compartment sealed like that. <clears throat> so that's that, and uh, um, I'll do the uh, power wire here. I need to take the fuse back off of this, and uh, then I'm going to get a different fuse for it that goes right off the battery terminal. Uh, so I'll show you that later. Then what I did with the ground wire is I routed it across with a bunch of other wiring. Comes in through here. And if you look down there, it screws in with uh, the rest of the ground wires. And so when plugged into shore power, that is a ground. And then it's also... Uh, connected to the truck battery negative terminal. So uh, ultimately everything in here grounds to the truck camper or the truck engine battery negative terminal. That is the ground for the whole system. and uh, Or that is what is determined as ground. Okay, uh, the other thing too is down here on my controller, you see the ground wire there. And if you look closely at it, the ground wire sticks into that ground block, uh, ground connection, and somehow the screw has backed out. So I need to get a replacement screw for that. So that is uh, the final project, and I will show you how I connect to the batteries when I get to that point. So cutting out now. Okay, and we have connected to the battery terminals in here. You see the blue 3 8 inch wire terminals for 6 gauge wire. And we have, this is the one, the negative here, and up in that corner there is the positive connection. And they both go down onto the wing nuts, 3 8 inch uh, stud coming up from the battery with a wing nut. And so that is how you connect them up to the battery. And this is a spe 
This is a special crimping tool that I have for large size connectors like that. And uh, it's kind of an expensive tool, $250. Greenlee makes it. And to get it, you would have to go to like Platt or one of the large electric stores, Gray Bar. Okay, um, so that is the uh, terminal connections to the battery. The install on the inverter is now finished. It goes into the compartment here and we can lift it out to use it. Set it on the floor, uh, set it someplace where we can use it. I've got about three feet of six gauge wire and a ground coming to it. I'm gonna put this into some uh, one inch split loom and that'll protect it and keep it neater. There you see the wires going into the battery compartment. The other wires are the solar power wires from the controller. Those are the other charge wires. So let me uh, turn this baby on here and you can see it's uh, there you go. So you got to hold the button for a second. There it goes. And it's telling us we have 13.1 volts available. And no current is being used. Then, up here is the charge controller and it's a cloudy day, but we are getting 4.6 amps of charge, maybe 4.7. And that is the most charge uh, the old slowboard panel only got uh, on its best day, 3.8 amps. And earlier today I was getting 7.1 amps. And so I'm anxious to see what this new charge uh, solar panel will do in full sun. So there you go, that is the um, install of a Xantrex ProWatt SW Pure Sine Wave 600 Watt Power Inverter. Safe power for your computers, printers, and other goodies, electronics. Alright, see you on the next video. And uh, don't forget to check out the solar panel installation video. Thanks for watching, and do subscribe, thank you.